Hi guys. So I wanted to come show you all what we've been doing in the garden. There's a whole bunch of bumblebees, so I'm gonna be jumping, but don't mind that. <laughs> okay, so this is the update. Um, we have the we. Let me show you. We made some trellis out of baby gate, um, old baby bed, and the rest of the old baby bed. And with that, we have um, cucumbers. If you see, I got a cucumber, my first one. And I have all other little ones. This one is making a little weird shape. But I have cucumbers. I have my yard long beans. These are some loquats I'm trying to grow from seed. Um, it's been a while and they haven't um, sprouted, so they might be dead. Um, and today I fertilized, by the way, um, everything. Uh, that back there is a yard long, uh, I mean a loofah. It's doing pretty good too. This is kind of yellow, these um, yard long bean seed uh, plant. Then I have my first little pea. Look at that, my first um, sweet southern pea. I thought they were dead, remember y'all? And they were very yellow and now they're climbing up pretty good. And eventually when they finish climbing on this thing, they'll get to climb up here a little bit more. And I have the same one in the back. And then right here is a papaya seed. I'm just trying to grow those and see what happens. I'm not really invested in it. Um, on this side is my watermelons. I moved them from the other side. Um, so this is, I believe, watermelon. And I got it going up this trellis just because I had an extra one. And then all the other ones are going to be spread out all over the um, ground. And then this is cantaloupe. Also cantaloupe. Y'all see those? And then my okra. And this is another trellis, if y'all want to see. Looks kind of like a soccer goal, but yeah. I'll show y'all pan view at the end. But my okras are doing good. I have some. Oh, it's a very, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a very windy day, y'all. <laughs> These okra are doing really, really well, if y'all see that. Um, some of them are even getting little okra buds. See that? It's very tiny, but I spotted it. I was excited. And back here we have zucchini and squash. So, as you see, I got a beautiful flower. That one's so pretty. Then we have one real zucchini right there. Then we have my squash. I do have a real squash back there. Y'all see it? It's yellow back there. And that's about it. And back here, let me show you all. Because I never show you all my flowers. But these are my flowers. I have my first zinnia. Look at how pretty. And some buds on the other ones. And I have some marigold buds as well. Marigolds are trying to come up. These little babies, y'all, I neglected these poor little things. Look at that ant. Do y'all see that? Let me show you. Let's see. Do y'all see that ant carrying it? <laughs> that little fly is eating it. Nature, baby, nature. It's cutthroat. All right. So, um, yeah, these are my bachelor. No, these are my morning glories. Um, I have never transplanted these like I was supposed to. So, and these were. I think bachelor buttons in there dying but I'm gonna try to transplant them and bring them back to life eventually <laughs> I was being neglectful on that part so over here back over here we have in the garden bed um some spinach that I had I'm sorry these are very loud but it's as y'all see windy it's windy all outdoors so this was spinach um that was lettuce my lettuce is finally flowering or going to seed I just watched a video on it last night so that little puffy thing, that little um, white thing is the part where you collect the seeds from. Um, but I'm going to wait till some more, you know, go to see. Oh, look at the bee. The bee sees me <laughs> and it is mad. <laughs> and this is my eggplant. I planted from seed. So I have my own um, that I wanted to try. And then over there I have some more that um, I bought from a transplant. I'm going to show you all this bee. Y'all, it is huge and it does not like me, okay? I even had to come out here in this too. Y'all saw that? I had to show my husband. Because that bee is mean. Um, that, the water bottles y'all see. And the one I'm crunching on. It's for the ants. Because I had a huge ant problem. And I don't have it anymore. So that worked. It's the water with the borax in it. And as you all see. We don't have any. I'm going to zoom in. We don't have any little stink bugs. Or anything like that. We use seven. Um, that uh to kill all the bugs i didn't want to use it i wanted to do the all natural way but y'all i lost so many tomatoes playing with the neem oil it works for some but it didn't work for me maybe because i didn't have a stronger dose like i was supposed to 
I'm backing up because of the beat. The beat is, hush. if y'all see, it's good. <laughs> it is chasing me. It thinks that the garden is for it. I am like, like, no, this is my garden, but what can I do? It's nature and it's being mean to me right now. It don't want y'all to see. And I'm terrified to go over there, but I'll tell you all what, what's been going on. So, let me tell you all. So, um, I sprayed the seven, well, my husband actually came and sprayed it um, last night. And this morning, we came out and as you all see, there's no, no little leaf uh, bugs and um, no stink bugs. Basically, all the bugs are dead besides the bee. <laughs> Which I don't want to kill the bee because it's helping me. Why would I kill the bee? So, I didn't kill the bee, thank goodness. I didn't want to. But, um, all the bugs are getting um, killed. We saw maybe like one or two today, but they were literally dying before our eyes. So, that was very interesting. Sorry, they had to go. Oh, my goodness. This bee. They had to go. Um, but I have so many tomatoes. Some are turning red. And I, and I would have been able to pick them, but... Like I said, I lost some because of the bugs were stuck in the juice and some of them even, the red ones even fell on the ground. They damaged them so bad. So if y'all have that problem and the neem oil isn't working, um, after y'all tried it, I tried it for a month, y'all, and it wasn't working. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see. Yeah, so I tried it for a month and like I said, that didn't work for me. So we got the seven uh, spray. We used the spray from Home Depot, the one that you connect to the hose, and that's what we did. And it worked basically overnight um over there we also have eggplant we also have uh and i have so many eggplants y'all i'm so excited i maybe have like eight eggplants and i have maybe three to four bell peppers i don't know why they're not growing but i have three to four bell peppers so that's still good i'm still excited to have at least some bell peppers and that's all that's in the garden bed um i'll show you all these right here i still have these cantaloupe and watermelon um my cousin-in-law was supposed to come get them hopefully she still comes and get them y'all this was not a good place for these flowers okay when it rains right here it floods so they all die basically but that's just marigolds and zinnias um i was gonna put some more flowers on this side and put a bench i was gonna move all this stuff so i'll show you so i was gonna put a bench right here in the middle and two flower beds on the side but because it floods so much, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm, I don't know where I'm going to put the flowers in the bed. I might have to put them over here, like when you first come through the gate. Because I want to put another bed of flowers because I don't want to keep using all the pots up. But, alright guys, this video is getting long, so I'll pan and show you all the whole garden. So here we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Starting over there. Then you pan away. Mm-mm-mm. And that was very easy. I'm just, I'm gonna just tell y'all what we did. We just staked them with these. I think these was like two dollars at Home Depot. And we got steaks on each side. My husband zip tied them, and bam, that was it. <laughs> and then we had that. And he did the same thing with this one. That's the net trellis from Home Depot. And the bamboo. I think it was like four dollars for six bamboo sticks. Put one in the middle and two on the end. Zip tied them and stacked them in. Hopefully during hurricane season they don't fly away. But that's another story. So. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. I hope you liked my garden. Bye!